Traders, how you doing? Monday, March 7th. Today I'm going to talk about, uh, for my third basics video, um, a basic concept called support and resistance. And I got a couple of good examples from today. And we're going to, we've been using daily charts. Uh, I used Google, for example, because everyone knows Google. Um, today I'm going to use some that I saw that were trending, or actually trading in a, in a range. And so you'll see here on my chart, this is um, James River Coal. And you'll see that here's the opening bar. These are five minute bars. So each candlestick bar here represents five minutes of time and where this particular stock traded. So for example, here on this this bar here, it opened here at about $23 a share. Let's see if we can pull up the statistics. It opened at 2302. It was as high as 2328, was as low as 2269, and closed at 2326, creating that green candle. Okay? So each bar is five minutes. Now the market opens at 9:30 in the morning. So this is the firm 9:30 to 9:35, okay? 936 to 940, so on and so forth, okay? And so these are all the different bars uh, that are represented. Now you'll see here that this particular stock uh, moved up into this area here, don't denoted by the blue line and the black line here, okay? And notice the low of this first bar was right at this blue, this black line and blue line down here too, okay? Actually, the low of this candle is actually down at this black line. And the blue line here, the blue lines indicate where support was found on this particular stock. So as it moved up into this area, its sellers came in, right, and it pushed it back down. This is called resistance, okay? And when it comes down here and can't go lower and buyers um, overwhelm sellers and it starts to drive the prices higher, it becomes support. And you'll see that in this particular example, that first bar helped establish the low for the day. This is the entire day's trading, okay? It never went lower than that first bar. And you can see that within the first 30 minutes, the 30 minute high was never really breached as well, okay? So the first 30 minutes, um, uh, pretty much established the low, or did establish the low and the high for the day for James River Coal. So you'll see it trade here, came back down this way, came back up to this resistance area, so on and so forth, and stayed within this range bound area. Now there are traders that can take advantage of this, and what you do is you basically buy when it comes down to support, and you sell when it gets up to resistance. Okay, it's really pretty simple, and it's it's a definitely a powerful way to trade. Um, if you know how to read support and resistance. Now this other example I'll show you is VFC. Now you notice this this stock opened up here. This is the first five minute bar, so it's still a five minute chart, okay? And it went up and it's, it, the 30 minute high was right in this area and you can see it broke out above it here, okay? And the 30 minute low was here and it broke below it here, but you can see that after this was established, this high here was a resistance point. It couldn't get above until it got to here. And this area here was support. It couldn't go any lower than this point here, okay, uh, at about uh, 1050 um, for the rest of the day. And now this uh, carries to the next concept where resistance and support um, become the opposite once they are breached. So for this particular example, this resistance point was breached here at about 215, okay, it broke through, and then it pulled back right into this area right where so right where resistance was which is now becoming support and then it shot up amazingly this is actually a great entry here for this trade to go higher so you can see what now where, where support areas are resistance areas and where resistance now becomes support so once it goes through that resistance area as it pulls back you can use that uh, as a possible buying area now there's a lot more to it than just picking zones of support and resistance, but this is one of the very critical concepts of trading, support and resistance. So hopefully you found that useful today. Uh, I'll continue with the basic series next week. Have a great week trading, guys, and uh, if you get any questions, email me, tom at tomwillardtrading.com.